Welcome to Super Fun Stuff. Today we paint probably the coolest mob ever painted. And we'll try using a no tan study again for the shadowing. But this time we're going to paint it a little differently. We're going to start from the brighter colors and work our way down to the darker colors. And no washes, and of course, the comic book style. On top of that, I have a new 4K camera and a camera arm to better record things. So let's see how I do. Today's model was created by Cyan Yi, and it's an awesome swole Pikachu. It's completely ridiculous and totally hilarious. The description says it was made in ZBrush, and it was piece part if you want to print this guy even bigger. I'm going to scale him down to a miniature size so we can use him in our games. This time I've upgraded to a new resin for my printer. It's called Soraya Blue, and it's a tougher resin that has a lot of nice properties. It prints well, and I do notice a stronger end result. The only negatives I would say is that it has slightly stronger smell, takes longer to clean up the printed parts, and it takes longer to cure. But these are minor inconveniences for a better product. So I print Swole Pikachu, or I guess we'll just call him Swole Chew, and immediately base him. I primer him and make him white. We will first make our no-tan study to see where our shadows and highlights will go. I take my white model to the bathroom, set up on a box with a light, and I go around taking a few pictures. Exactly the same process as I did with Zemo. I then combine my pictures and create a no-tan study. From the no-tan study, we can see a pretty simple shadowing and highlight scheme. The smile looks to be very straightforward, but we will use our no-tan study to add our shadows during the process. I next take my swole chew and airbrush yellow. It's a pretty flat yellow color, and I do my best to get a full color all the way around. So now let's go into the shadows. I take a desert yellow, which is like a light brownish mustard color, and water it down. Using my no tan picture, I slowly paint the areas of all the shadows. Then for the next darker shadow, I take the same color and layer it on top. We're going to try and layer our shadows a bit using very thin colors, almost like a glaze. I continue to do this all the way around to the darkest shadow, and here I switch to a brown that I do the same thin layer paint. I stay away from using black as we'll be inking Pikachu. For his tiny pants, I, I guess you can consider his pants, I use an electric blue and use a thin, darker blue the same way for the shadows. Now I go in and paint some of the details, specifically his cheeks and mouth. I use a red for everything and a pink for the tongue. On his back I take a leather brown and paint his back stripes and the base of his tail. And now to the fun part, the inking. I take my time and go around the entire model, hitting all the major lines of his body. Then I go around the entire body adding all the details, this including his eyes, ears, mouth, and all the little tick marks everywhere. Instead of using a very dark shadow areas like I did before, just pure black, I decide to go with a Charlie Brown shadow effect using multiple slashes. This preserves the color a little bit better, but also gives the effects of shadow. After all that's finished, I finish up the base and I add a small Pokeball for a little fun. And there we have it, Swole Pikachu is all done and ready to pummel some guys. Here's him next to the rhino. He's just as big. I hope you like this video on how we paint some comic book minis using a no-tan study, a process of going from highlights down to the shadows, and of course, a lot of inking. Thank you to all my patrons and supporters, and thank you for watching.